Here's one of the emails we received. Please address the Michigan Lottery and what's happening to the proceeds in regards to our schools. Our schools are in such a sad state. Where exactly does the lottery fit into this picture? Well, we went to the Michigan Lottery headquarters in Lansing to find out. So then we have things like um, administrative and advertising. Andy Brancato is the public relations director for the Michigan Lottery. The lottery's profits, that's 100% of all the money that we make goes to the school aid fund. This is very important, and we have always given our money to the school aid fund, and we are an important component in the funding for public education in Michigan. The lottery dollars do go to the school aid fund, and that does help education. So when people buy those tickets, hopefully they recognize that whatever part stays with the state goes to help educate our kids. So here's where all the money goes right here. All of the profits, about 29% goes to the school aid fund. But before that, lottery has to pay the winners. That's the biggest chunk, 57.8% of the money. 7% of the money goes to retailer commissions. Then the rest goes to administrative costs, advertising, and other expenses. And even a tiny slice pays for a compulsive gaming hotline. We're going to grab our access. Brancato says she gets questions about the lottery's role in school funding often and acknowledges the lottery's portion is just a small component of the whole mix that is spent on public education. The state spends between 10 and 12 billion dollars on public education every year. It's very expensive to provide an education for all the kids in this state. So the lottery's portion, while it's very significant, represents only about 6.5 percent of that amount. So you can see that our our portion is important, but it certainly cannot solve all the needs of public education. It just, it just can't. Here's a breakdown of the school aid fund. According to the State House Fiscal Agency for fiscal year 2010-2011, the state sales tax, income tax, and state education property tax are the three largest sources of revenue for the school aid fund. The lottery is fifth. You may remember this. These were how the first lottery tickets sold in Michigan looked. That was 1972. <laughs> Since that time, the lottery has generated $15.9 billion for K-12 education in Michigan. In the last fiscal year of 2010, the lottery transferred more than $701 million directly into the school aid fund. In 2009, it was $724.5 million. It peaked in 2007 at nearly $749 million. Now... Every year, that profit varies because it's always based on our sales. Depending on the economy, depending on things like jackpots, we recently had a very big Mega Millions jackpot, which was very good for sales in Michigan. A lot of our sales are driven by that. More people play when the jackpot is very high. Now the school aid fund is a restricted fund that can only be used for education. The lottery's role is completely done once we turn that money over to the school aid fund we have no involvement in that anymore. It's all up to the legislature how that money is then appropriated back to students in Michigan.